So, Sharon was having a little look on Facebook because you've got a Kasurian ninja group with yeah. Butler's Empire there, haven't you? Yes, and I hope you've all subscribed, which you haven't. And uh, she found this little dish, which was a lovely little picture, and uh, we're going to do it. What is it, Sharon? It's like a shepherd's pie, but with potato waffles on the top. How exciting and how quick and easy is that? Right, so Sharon showed me the picture of this, and I do like potato waffles. You know the ones you get in the box, and they're all really, they look, they look like a sweet waffle, they are actually potato. And uh, I used to eat these many years ago, but I haven't had one for blinking decades yet. No, I haven't either. But uh, we saw this picture on there, and... Um, it looked really nice. And yeah, I thought, I quick and that. easy. Got to give it a go, because I've got my grandchildren here for dinner tonight, and they're going to love it. And we want to say it quick and easy, so here we go. Yep. This is the ingredients. Here are the ingredients to our savoury mints topped with cheesy potato waffles. 500 grams of beef mints. One large onion. One tin of baked beans. 100 grams of peas. Some potato waffles. Some grated cheddar cheese for the topping. One tablespoon of Maggi seasoning. Some gravy granules. Right, okay Sharon, this, you've already done some of the work already, haven't you? Yes, I've made it easy. So we've actually browned off the mince, folks. That is 500 grams Five of mince grams, there. Yeah, lean mince. Uh, we've got how many onions there again? One whole onion, just chopped up. And you've lightly browned it, so yeah. you've basically sweated it off. We've got some garden peas there and also some beans. Now, we was going to put carrots in this as well, Sharon, weren't we? I haven't got them. So they're not going in, but obviously if you want to do it, put them in. So, okay, baby. So the mince is already browned and been drained. That goes into the frying pan, a uh, saucepan rather. In with our... Onion. Partially cooked onions. Oh, they smell wonderful onions. Peas. In with the peas. And also our can of baked beans, Sharon. Yeah. So they go in as well. Again, very quick, quick meal this to cook. And kids love it. And that fact that I'm a big kid, I'd love it as well. Yes, you should do. With not many meals you don't like. Nice little savoury number. There you go, folks. Just mix it all together. Now, we've also got some uh, Maggie seasoning here. Yeah, we love our Maggie. So we're going to put a nice splash of that in. So that really does enhance the flavour of any savoury dish as well. So um, if you've got it, get it. If you ain't got it, go out and buy it because it's <laughs> lovely. They do it on Amazon. We buy it in bottles of 12, didn't they? Yeah, it works out pretty yeah. cheap. I think there is a link in the description below, folks. All right, it smells wonderful now, actually. Yeah, look at that, folks. Look. And you've actually got some gravy granules as well. Yeah, because I just want to make a bit more gravy, make it a bit more moist. Yeah, so... Let's go over to the cooker. Right. And we'll do this I'll over here. I'll follow you over, Sharon. Yeah. Follow now, me, baby. Let me come over, look. Now, a lot of people have been asking, Shell, about we don't seem to be cooking with our ninja anymore. Oh, I do. We do use it, folks. It is sitting over here now, but um, we did have a bit of a problem with one of the fans, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why we don't use it regularly, because one of the fans stopped working, or it's gone very tight underneath. So we've only really got one drawer working here. So we use it as a backup, basically. So that's the reason why we've got the Ninja. We love the Ninja as well, yeah. but obviously... But I love the Kasuri more, Yeah, I mean, that, we've had that, that's the longest one we've had. That was the first one yeah, we got. And my daughter, daughter bought me that as well, so that. there that's we right. go. So it's a bit sentimental for us as yes. well. But uh, anyway... So Sharon's just warming that through now. So I'm just going to warm that through and I've got some warm water and I'm going to add some gravy just to give it a bit more gravy in there. There's not a lot of liquid in now, there. Now, rather than pour the gravy granules straight into there, which we don't want to do, folks, we'll mix the gravy up in water first because it really needs to be boiling, Sharon, doesn't it? Right, OK, so we're just putting a little quantity of gravy granules in our jug. We'll take our boiling water and literally just make up a small quantity. Just a small quantity. amount. You haven't got to have a lot. No. Because if you don't sort of put boil, uh, gravy granules into boiling water, Sharon... They won't dissolve. They won't dissolve and that and go sort of claggy, can't they? Mm. But as you can see there, folks, there in go. the hot water, that'll go straight into our uh, mix now, like that. And you'll have no problem at all there with that incorporating them gravy granules into our mix there. And that's basically the mix done, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. Once it's warmed through, bear in mind it's all cooked, it's just that the peas weren't cooked, so that's why I just wanted to warm them through. Yeah. And don't forget, this is also going to go in the air fryer, Sharon. Yeah, this the oven mini here. oven air yeah. fryer. Then we're going to put the potato waffles on the top, cover them with cheese, and Bob's your uncle, Sharon. Yeah. Sometimes these simple meals, quick, very usually really tasty, and it's just nice to have something simple. When you've been busy out Christmas shopping and you just want a quick dinner. So if you're going to be eating this 
as in now, folks. That will obviously affect your cooking time because that is actually hot now. And all we're gonna do now is transfer that into our bowl and then we're gonna put the potato waffles on top. So in it goes. So these are the waffles. Again, they come partially cooked, Sharon. Yeah. But these are frozen still. So uh, you can actually do these in the toasters, apparently. And all we're going to do is literally just plonk them on the top. There you go, just like that. Look. Now, I don't know whether you can get a knife down there, Sharon. Just cut that one a little bit of slice down there. No, look, do it with a knife. There you go. That one go in there. And another one there. They're pretty easy to cut, folks. One off of there. Let me cut it off the edge. Just the end bit. Just cut the end bit off, look. There you go. So just push it in, like that. And that's our thing finished. Now we're just going to sprinkle liberally over the top with a cheese. This is a, a strong cheddar. Put plenty on, folks. Don't be frightened of it. Because it'll all sink through them holes and line the inner side of the holes there. So don't worry too much about that. Right, so that goes over now into our mini oven, our 12 litre mini oven. If I take that bottom element out, because we don't need that in there, not the bottom element, the bottom of the tray, and take that tray out of there, and put this one in the middle, like that. That means we can get the heat in from the bottom element and also the top element as well. And you're gonna put that on for 185 we'll go 20 minutes 20 minutes yeah and call it that don't forget folks that um, we've also got the light on there so if you want to have a little look inside just put your oh, light on that, hang on let's look at that cheese fly off yeah that's all right now that's fine Sharon but you can see how strong these little um, fans are folks in these oh, here we go. a couple of little bits of cheese uh, flying off there but uh, we're not too worried about that so we'll let that go we'll have a little tidy up and um, then we'll come straight back to you, baby. We. The royal we again. Yeah. See you in a minute, folks. Right, our 20 minutes are up, Sharon. Yes, they are. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that little baby. There she comes. Look at that. Oh, cheesy goodness, baby. Let's have a little look at that. Wow. Oh, that's hot. Can you see the way it sunk through, folks? Look at that. Shall we dish a little portion up, Sharon? Yeah. Come on, let's have a go. Right, come on in, baby. Lift it out of there. Let's have a little look at that. Look at that, folks. Look how steamy and hot that is. Yeah. And she's kept the potato on the top. Look at that mince. Look at that quality of that mince, Sharon. Look. I'll tell you what, I don't think you can go far wrong with any mince dish. No. When it's um, mixed with a few peas and beans and stuff like that and onion or whatever. And as I say, we're only lacking carrots in there. We would have put them in if we would have had it. Yep. But, uh, right, do you want to go in? I better get you a spoon. Right, let's see, Sharon. Now we know it's hot. Get a bit of that top in as well, shall Now give it a little blow first, because I don't want you to burn your mouth, because I always get told off for making you eat it too quick. So, go on. Well, is it savoury? Mm. Is there a bit of a crunch from that term? Yeah, there is a tiny crunch from the potato waffle. The cheese coming through? Mm. And I've got a bit of crunch from the young and that's really tasty actually. Winter proper winter warmer, very nice. And it's nice. quick as well, Sharon. Easy to prepare. No peeling the potatoes. Can I have a go? Go on then. Come round here, baby. Right, well, that would probably do four people, Sharon, wouldn't it? Because yeah. you've got four if you look down there, Sharon, look. That would you've got four waffles on there, so that'd be like a meal for four people mm. with some up to me, baby, with some green veg or something like that. That would be very, very tasty, wouldn't it? It is very tasty. So let's have a little go. Now I'm going to go for a bit, big bit of crust on the top. Hold on. Blow it. Oh, it tastes, looks, looks quite tasty, baby. Now I know this could probably burn me, Sharon. Right, let's have a go. Oh my God. Oh. Them waffles turn it into something different, Sharon. With the trees on, there is a chewy consistency, 
And that mince with that Maggie seasoning, that little savory mince, it is superb. The beans, the onions, also the peas there, and that little bit of gravy, extra gravy, makes all the difference. What a tasty meal that is, folks. You've got to try that. Your kids are going to love it. And we got that from Rate My Plate, didn't we? Yeah. Well, that is a, a very, very tasty little number, very, very quick mm. to prepare. And I think the kids are going to enjoy that. I think they will too. It's just so different from mash, isn't it? It's and it is so simple. But as I say, that them, them waffles do bring something else to the party. I wouldn't normally think about doing that. No, I've... kids love potato waffles, so that's one way of getting them to eat it well, all. I'm like a big kid as well, Sharon. And well, if it was me... Fact, what don't you like? I could, eat, I could eat that right now, the whole lot, but I can't mm. because it's destined rather than mouths, folks. Anyway, thank you very much. That come from Facebook, Sharon? Yeah, rate my plate. So you get some good ideas on there. And I thought I'd give this one a go. That intrigued me a lot yesterday. Yeah, we didn't clock down whose name it was, so I didn't no, see it. Sharon no, I've saw tried it. looking and I can't find it again, yeah. so... But do give it a go. Very tasty little number and very, very savoury. The Maggie seasoning makes all the difference in this dish, believe me. Mm. Put a nice glug in there, we put about a tablespoon in. Also, if you want Worcestershire sauce in it, oh, put yeah. that in it. Yeah, fantastic. Anything in, with mince is fantastic but by me. Thinking of the children here, that's why there's no pepper in yeah, there no or nothing. Yeah, no spices or whatever, yeah. but you put in what you like. That's a basic one, and I'll tell you what, you won't be disappointed with that. No. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget, our Christmas video is gonna be out on the 17th of December. That's what you've all requested. Which is a live premiere. Not premiere, it's a no, live, it's a live. It? It's actually it's live. live. We'll be there live. So you can email Moving us. about. Or talk, sorry, you can talk to us rather in that chat box that's going to be there. And see us this time. 8 p.m. Sunday, the 17th of December. Be there. There'll be about a thousand people plus in the chat, all having a laugh and chat. We've got some great videos which we've created, a few comedy videos and stuff like that. And you hope oh, you're going to enjoy it. I think they're all comedy. Unbelievable. Anyway, don't forget, folks, have a little binge watch of our videos. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button it's down free. there. It's free. Come on, it's free. Let's give us a Christmas present. Let's get to another figure. That's all we want, Sharon. Yeah. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye. Oh, the kids don't want the shower. We'll have it. Come on, all it's hot. No, no, oh. no, not my children, my grandchildren. Comedy.